Hey guys, what's going on? Slaughter Drandall here. It's been a while since I've done a video, hasn't it? God. Uh, so, I wanted to get this video. There's a few different uh, things that I wanted to talk about. And what actually got me motivated to actually start this video off was one of my friends, who I want to give a good sh give a shout out to, is Thrash Metal Guru. Or for those of you who know him personally, I, I won't even say, I won't, you know, I'm not even going to say his name, but Thrash Metal Guru. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I did, I wanted to touch base with you guys. I know I haven't done videos in, it's probably been a couple months, and I'm sure I probably won't get as many views with this either, but I figured you guys deserve... Those of you who enjoy my videos, that is, whether it was my Warframe videos, live streams, wh whatever ones that I did. So, like, because I, like, I am looking at my channel right now, and I gotta say, it is, the channel's in a, in a sense of shambles, of sorts. The reason I say that, I have not posted a video since I did my live stream of God Eater 3, which I titled Return to the World of Aragami. So, I'm going to start with a few different things. Um, I'm actually going to start first with my, with, with, you know, where have I been? You know, Lodo, where have you been? What the heck's happened to you? For those of you, like I said, who follow me. So, what's going on is I had to get ready to move. So, I had to go through a certain amount of time with no internet. And with no internet, I wasn't able to do anything with my PS4. Able to, really wasn't really can't do much of anything. Can't get on a computer except to do my projects, which require no internet. Um, well, in all honesty, there was a lot of things. Just you know, it, PS4 can't really do much on that except for play offline stuff. PS3, thank thank God for that because I could play a lot of my old PS3 games. I actually beat Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. But anyway, in the process of everything getting settled, my my PlayStation 4 Pro got stolen. So, God, I was... I remember the day that I found out. I was so pissed off. And, I mean, even talking about it right now, like, I already... I, like, my mind's slowly drifting back to those times where I was just livid. But... Because with, with the job I have now, I mean, I'm, I was already planning to get it replaced. I was repl going to replace this PS4 Pro with a new one. But what angered me about the situation was that that old PS4 Pro was going to go to my best friend, Tim. Who, unfortunately, or who I, as I call him on PSN or on my Switch, Omega. But he's not getting it now. And it pisses me off. Because of the fact, like, when I got that PS4 Pro, I gave him my old, play, my original PlayStation 4. Because I wanted him to enjoy the games that, you know, the generation that I was in. And with him not being able to work, it makes it harder for him to afford a Switch. It makes it hard to afford a PS4 or a 3DS or whatever. Like, I helped him get, I got him the Switch. I got him the PS4. And... It's a it's a personal thing with me. Like you know, he's he's one of my best friends. Him and another another guy who I know in real life. I'll address him by his PSN name and on Switch, Vane Aurelius. He, they're my best friends. I'd known Tim since two thousand and eight. I had known Vane since two thousand and twelve, I believe. Two thousand eleven, two thousand actually no, it was two thousand twelve. And we've been close as kin. Brother from brother from another mother, or as I like, to, as I've always referred to them, the brothers I wish I had. So, with the PS4 being stolen, it's not only hastened the necessity to replace it, but it's completely destroyed any chance I would have had to any chance I would have had to give him that new, to give him that old one, the original, the other one. But I managed to get over it. And I'm okay with it. Second reason, I no long I got I, I in essence I left 
Best Buy due to irreconcilable differences along with some issues that or they are trying to dump on me despite proving that I had nothing to do with those issues. So, uh, and Thrash is actually messaging me. But anyway, and I'm sorry guys if I sound a little if I sound a little congested, I do apologize. I'm fighting with a with a with a cough and a throat my throat's been slightly irritated. So I've been have I've been relying on halls and peppermints. Never thought I'd enjoy peppermints like I do right now because that's what's helping my throat. But back to the point. So now with the PS4 gone, it has, in a sense, given me a chance to, to play with my other consoles. I got to back to playing... Sorry, Peppermint. Got back into playing on the PS3. I beat Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I'm probably going to play through it again with all the gear that I have. Got me into back to playing on my Switch a little more. Playing the Switch on the TV. Though I like it also as a handheld. And... I mean, in all, all in all, all the consoles I have now, the Wii U, the Switch, PS3, my handhelds, you know, my 3DS, Vita, my PlayStation Portable, Game Boy Advance, the PS4 being stolen kind of helped me deviate to the others, so that way I can kind of get back into those games. Because I had some on a, I had a backlog on PS3, I've had a backlog on the Switch, I've even had a backlog on my PlayStation Vita. <laughs> and it's given me some time to devote to my project on Lord of Arcana. So let me go ahead, and with that being said, I want to go look at, I'm going to play this video that Thrash had just put out. Um, if the if the audio comes out of it comes off a little awkward, I do apologize. This is my first time doing a video response I'm actually going to watch his video now whether you guys want to stick around at this part if you you know you can skip ahead to after to, to where the video ends I'm actually gonna watch it the whole way through in this video because he actually touches up on a few things that I kind of felt like you know there's a response because there's a few things whether it's a personal whether it's YouTube that I feel need to be discussed so here it goes I'm gonna put this on about three-fourths of the way so here it goes hello guys again we're just gonna skip with the intros I'm leaving a little bit earlier to go to work but I want to take this time to spend some personal you know moments with you guys uh, to explain about last night. What I need to start off by doing is by apologizing to each and every one of you. That's right, each and every one of you. I apologize for the way that I acted. And I mean that dead serious. I'm not talking about any sarcastic reaction or a sarcastic response. I deeply and profoundly apologize for every single thing that I have done last night with my video. I wanted to just kind of give a little bit of explanation to that, but before I do that, Damien, Sky, Fire, and Shades, you're, you're absolutely right. I am completely better than that. And I'm not like a certain individual who we discussed, or you guys I'll, I'll do some bit of talking in between as well. So, I, don't, I wasn't there when he did whatever video he's talking about. I wasn't, I wasn't there when he did his live stream. But he had made a post... In a spot, on a, and I just wanted to do his post about it because I took a look at what he was talking about and I see what he was talking about. And he talks about it, he's much better. This this is the part that I don't know about, so I'm gonna. But from what from what I've looked at his channel, this is other video he was talking about. I haven't seen it, so I didn't see it on his channel either. So maybe he took it down. So let's continue. To me. And I understand. 
you know, I get it. You know, I'm a whole lot better. I'm 110% better than that. And, you know, no one should have had to see that side of me. Mm -hmm. And I also need to give an explanation to what I said at the very end when I said fuck off. Let me just be clear, and still, it's a fuck up on my end, and I should have done this a whole lot better because, you know, explanations and context, you know, can go a long way, but... Dang! <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing I didn't see this video. Was it even in my uh, feed? So... Ah, okay, so, yeah, it looks like he, he took it down. Okay. I totally fucked up on that. When I said fuck off, I was not trying to refer to my audience, but again, I did a piss poor job at it. And, you know, I ended up having to pay the price for that. <coughs> so to each and every one of you, I am completely sorry. You guys didn't, shouldn't deserve that. It's not in me to tell anything like that at the very end. And again, it, I can't really say it any clearer, but you guys deserve a whole lot better than that. Now, I get it. I, I get it completely. I can't... And it wasn't about pointing fingers was the only thing I wanted to explain. It's just, I was just upset. I was frustrated. I was just angry. It just felt like after so much patience... You know, you figure something would finally pay off. And that's just what I felt. And on top of that, there were personal matters that were really kind of bringing me down. And it, it, it upset me. You know, and on top of that, I just kind of felt like I just had enough. I mean, do I have the right to feel upset? Of course. But... I so, judging by what he's talking about, and like I said, I've looked at his post... It's the video he made, I'm assuming, is in reference to a live stream he did. Like I said, I wasn't there with the live stream that went down. If I'd known it was going on, I would have been there watching it. But with me working, near impossible now for me to be up as late as I'd like to. Especially since I do early morning shifts now with the job that I have at... Academy Sports and Outdoors. So, yeah, because I'm looking at the post here. Yep. Okay. So, his last the la live stream was based on was on. Okay. Yeah, it was based on uh, the Mortal Kombat game that's coming out. And he only got nine views, which. No matter how you slice it, that's for the, for someone who wants to get ahead, get farther in there with YouTube, especially those who, with those that want to make it a career, which I know Thrash is wanting to eventually make a career out of YouTube. You know, I you know, he's a really good friend of mine, and quite honestly. I can, I can, I empathize with it. I'll read the post after, you know, after this video ends, and then I'll do my detailed response. And that doesn't mean that I should be taking it out on you guys, when intentionally it's not really supposed to be taken out, it was just me circumventing my anger, but still, it's no excuse. I know exactly what I did, and I fucked up, and I want to make that right. Most likely the reason why I'm leaving so early and that I'm actually doing something on the way to work for the first time, so. And I get it. And I, I have some people that were reaching out to me, and also to Athena Guitarist, thank you for reaching out. And you know what? And I also apologize to you. You shouldn't have had to receive that sort of anger onto me and for my audience. You know, I, I don't know what else to say other than I, I completely fucked up. You know, I like listening to constructive criticism, and you know what? It, it took some tough love from Shades and Damien Fire, Damien Skyfire, to 
to kind of set me straight a little bit uh, on the whole map. I think the only thing I was just trying to do, you know, I'll just this light. That's there we go. I think what I just wanted was just to finally, you know, get my due. I think that was it, because my whole life I've been told I'm just too nice. I let people walk all over me, and, and that's that's the sort of reoccurrence that came to my mind. Is that it's just people walking all over me? Am I just not there anymore? Am I just not? You know, it just feels like I'm not flesh and bone. It just feels like I'm just an invisible matter of air. That's it. That's just what I felt. And I don't see that with anybody else. You know, it's, it's the reason why I do shout-outs. It's the reason why I, you know, I love being positive about shit. Even if my rants are negative, I just don't want to be known for rants anymore. I don't. I want to be a whole lot better than that. Especially a whole lot better than last night, because, yeah, I really deserved what I got. And again, you know, I know I can do a whole lot better than the way I was. There are only two things besides all of that that I have to stand my ground on. There are only two things, and this is not to be any way condescending at all. I just mean this sincerely from the heart, is that I'm just, I'm not sorry for having passion or having a desire to finally do something when I've been, you know, kind of trying to brush it off for like the past nine years and then... Everyone else starts thriving. I mean, I know YouTube itself is is pretty much on a adpocalypse area, and again, that's no excuse. And number two, I just feel like you know I keep busting my ass, and it's just. But again, it's just those two things. But besides everything, it's still no excuse. And I apologize to every single one of you. I will, this is me taking the constructive criticism. I also took the advice from Shades. I took down my video. Again, that way you guys didn't have to see that. Because no one deserves to hear me whine about that. All I really just wanted now, because it finally, it finally dawned on me. It's not to sound like Onion, and it's not to sound like Joy, and it's not to sound like, like these other people, but... I just want to be relevant. And it's not just YouTube, okay? It's also personal matters. Okay. Huh. Okay, I'm not trying to attention hog seek or anything like that. Attention hungry, I think is what he's trying to say. You know, but I, don't I just feel like here I am, you know, what do you guys want me to do? That's, that's pretty much it. But at the end of the day... I gotta be grateful. I need to, I need to be humble. I want to be exactly how I did when I made my video to you guys saying that how humble I was that I was grateful to have you guys. That, that's the person I wanted to be. And, you know, that's how things really should be on my end. Again, it's... I didn't want to direct anything at anyone. And I couldn't really blame people the rest of the blame at the end of my day is myself. That's basically what it comes to at the end of the day. And that's pretty much all I've got to really get off my chest. So I'm going to just end this up right now to say that I'm absolutely sorry to each and every one of you for the way that I acted and for what I said. You guys deserve a whole lot better. So I'm going to turn this off because I gotta get to work. And hopefully you guys can see that I'm truly and profoundly sorry. I am from the bottom of my heart. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. <clears throat> There's 20, 26 seconds left of it, but I think that's at least pretty much wrapped it up. Okay, so... Let me go ahead and read the post. A post that... I and I responded to him about it. All right, let me see if I can find it here. Here it is. 
all that all that hype I wanted to bring and all I got was this. I try to promote something while also beta testing and this is it. My mouth all these years has been shut, so I'm finally gonna say it. What do I need to do here? I spent money wanting to show people how great this game could be and this is it? Seriously? What do other promoters have that I don't aside from a larger viewer base? But I take time out to do this and you get for you guys. I don't specifically mean my viewers, but in general. It even goes to a lot it even goes to a lot I invest in. I think he mean that means you know I invest a lot in what I do, and it seems it's never good enough. <clears throat> now he made this post before a little bit before he made <clears throat> the video that I've played that I just played for you guys. But yeah, so yeah, the, the the picture he took was of Mortal Kombat 11's beta live stream, which this post that he made nine views, one like. I hate to say it, seeing that. And this is a guy who's in, and Thrash has more viewers. He's got more viewers than I do. He's got more than double my the subscriber base that I have. Like he's sitting, he's close to about fourteen hundred. I'm not. I'm barely. I'm close. I'm like three or four away from hitting six hundred subscribers. Like this guy has. Like I said, he has more than double. He has almost two and a half times the subscriber base that I have. To see him suffer, to see him not get these kind of views. And I've noticed this. And I actually found this out with my channel. You know, I, I re what got me a lot of subscribers, like I originally did McJuggernugget discussions, which I eventually got rid of because of the fact that I felt he was irrelevant. The my most viewed video, and I'll even tell it to you guys, like <clears throat> the most viewed video on my channel, if I'm able to yeah, sort by. Perfect. I guess most popular, which I believe is the most viewed. Yeah, okay, and it still remains the number one video. Magamu slash Digital Extreme versus Revix Dev. My thoughts, you know, my, you know, who was right and wrong. That video I made back in 2016, February, actually. So it's been three years now. God dang, has it really been that long? But yeah, this video garnered, to this day, has... 30,000 views. I'm not going to open it up just to try to look at an exact view count. After that is my Warframe, New Strange, which was the was Cephalon Samaris, which that's, is that quest for the most part is cycled out of Warframe. This one's gotten over 22,000 views, to my surprise, followed by Ark, talking about Deodons helping with raising babies, which got, looks like, yeah, got 10,000 views. After that, I'm going into the 3.6, 3.5, like, it, I mean, I am grateful, grateful that I get the views that I get, <clears throat> and it's nice, and I am looking now at some of these others, and holy crap, some of these are actually over a thousand views now, which... Boggles my mind. Because so, some of these are from three years ago, two years ago. Like my most recent video to get over a thousand views. I think it was, yeah, about seven months ago. Let's see. Yeah. Baro Katir from August. After that, it's one year, year and a half. 
Like, I ain't gonna lie, guys. I've been doing this on and off nine years. I started doing videos a little more seriously when I started talking about Revix Dev. Well, McJuggernuggets, I guess, was where I really started off. But then I started doing more, a lot of Warframe videos. Then I wanted to do kind of a scene by scene with some gameplay of Dragon Age Inquisition, which I wanted to finish. I kept putting it off, which is my stupidity. But here's the thing with, with, with uh, Thrash. He's got, and what he says that he's not sorry for having the passion. And he shouldn't be sorry. He loves what he does. I, lo I like it. I liked it, you know, like when he does live streams and I'm able to participate in a few. I mean, yeah, our, the time between he and I doesn't align for us to do so. But during the times that we are able, I enjoy it. You know, Damien Skyfire, Rancher in Shades, Thrash, myself. Anyone and everyone. I think I got a sneeze coming. <laughs> Excuse me. Like I said, felt a sneeze coming. <sighs> God, I hate having a cold. So anyway, back to point. Nine years of doing what he of doing what what you do on YouTube is a long nine years is a long time. It's a very long time. I remember. Back during the copyright BS on YouTube back in 2013, threatened four to five years of work for the Angry Joe Show. But right now, yeah, YouTube is a broken mess. Adpocalypse after adpocalypse. And it sickens me that YouTube has regressed, not progressed, regressed into such a state that the people that are the most popular are those that are gimmicks. Like Mick Jugger, like Mick Jugger Nuggets, who made his entire Psycho series, which people couldn't tell if it was real or not. It was. It turned out to be complete fake. And then he did his bullshit thing. Like it wasn't meant for kids. And that, and part of me wanted to make a video on that and call bullshit and be like, dude, your freaking Juggies Unite Psycho Dad reacting to a million subscribers. Ninety nine percent of the people you had in those tribute video are kids. Back to, okay, I'm getting off topic here. I do apologize, but I'm all over the place. But the frustrations of feeling like you're getting nowhere. Like, I'll be honest. I feel like sometimes I wonder, is my channel dead in the water? I don't know. I don't think it is. I but I do I do YouTube just because I enjoy it. I'm not looking at it as a career. I've got my career. I do it as a hobby, just like I do my project with freaking Lord of Arcana to fi to finish the whole Wikipedia. I do that as a hobby. I do my gaming stuff as a hobby. I do it, and I take yeah, and I take some time away to to enjoy it. Like yesterday, I spent a good about three, maybe four hours playing Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate with with like I said, with my two best friends. If Thra I'll go ahead and put this out there, Thrash. If you do have, if you end up seeing this, if you have a Switch, send me your friend code. I'd love to do something on, on there with you at some point, or just anything for that matter. I already got you on PlayStation. We just haven't really talked much on that, have we? So, but dealing with the frustrations of YouTube, de feeling and feeling like putting so much pressure on yourself. And this is where, because he talked about, I want to. He said, I want to be relevant, not just with YouTube, but on a personal standpoint. This is my, in a sense, a message from me to you, Thrash. We all want to feel relevant, whether it's to our viewers, whether it's to those we love, whether it's to those we work with. But the person you really need to feel relevancy to, first and foremost, is you, is yourself. Because if you don't have that, it's kind of like love. How can you love someone if you don't love yourself? 
how can you be proud of something if you're not proud of yourself? Like you have, you got to find it, get it here first. Like it's got to be here before it goes outward. So I think part of me thinks, th you know, with Thrash, you're, I wouldn't call it a midlife crisis. Midlife crisis YouTube style, maybe. <laughs> but no, I wouldn't consider it a midlife crisis for you as a person. You're a great guy. The conversations you and I have, that you and I have had, whether it was through Facebook, whether it was through YouTube, you're a good person. No matter what your frustrations, no matter how your frustrations and anger can get the better of you. It's happened to me too. It happens to me too. And I'm sure it's happened to anyone who watches your videos. It happened to anyone who's ever watched my videos. It's happened to everybody at one point or another. Yes, our frustrations and our anger can bring out the exact, the very worst in us. And it sucks beyond all belief. It does, because then it makes you wonder, what the hell am I doing this for? Why the heck, what, what am I doing? But that's also where you kind of have to double down on yourself, reevaluate, and just be like, you know what? This video, this isn't me. I, those who watched it, yeah, you, and you apologize, which is good on you. Great. That's it was. I was gonna say I was, you know, and after w listening to the video, I could see why you did the apology. I never even got to watch the vi the video where you, apparently your frustrations took over. I'm glad I didn't. But then again, I was dead asleep when you uploaded it, so. Back to my original point. Frustration and anger can turn you into your own worst enemy. Especially when you're putting as much pressure as I feel it sometimes. I feel like you put an, a, an extreme amount of pressure on yourself to get your YouTube stuff all, off the ground. Yeah, nine years, man. It's a long time. And people probably knew you at one point for just for your rant videos, and you even talked about it. You don't want to do just do rants. You want you want to expand. You want to go into more, like the live the live streams that you do in front of the camera or the game live streams. It takes time. It takes a lot of time. Like the videos that I have, the ones that hit. And that's going to be the kind of the funny thing, like 33,000 views for me, that to me is a lot. It's chump change to the big YouTubers, I'm sure. It's chump change. But to those like us, the small YouTubers, the small fry, to me, 33,000 is a lot. Like, I'm surprised I even have that many on that. And then finding out that my day done video has over 10,000, like I'm seeing older videos that are gar that garnered more views than I even suspected or expected, not suspected. Yeah. But you just got to keep at it, man. You got to keep that nose to the grindstone. It sucks. It takes a long time. I mean, there are some people that took on this trend, if you will, like drama or battle royales when when Fortnite started really kicking off, like how Ninja, I can't, I can't think of his name. I was Ninja on Twitch, one of the, the richest guys on Twitch right now, if not the richest. <sighs> it's, it's a pain in the ass, man. It's gonna take a long time. I already know that, especially when you're trying to build yourself up, get yourself off the ground. But don't give up on it, man. I'm, I'm sure you won't. But from a friend to a friend, don't give up on yourself, okay? But this is where we move on to the second part. Talking about YouTube in the broken state that it's in. Yeah, as he said, it's in the middle of an apocalypse. And it sucks balls. That those who want to make this a career will no will not really be able to do it very well. Like it'll take an obscenely obscenely long time now, 
and it sucks because of the fact that it really shouldn't be happening these ap the apocalypse but because of the the state of the world that it's in with the SJWs with the super ultra sensitive oh say this and you get demonetized <coughs> hell there was a YouTube channel that's been completely silenced has had their has been demon I think yeah, demonetized and have their comments of all their videos completely disabled because of fear out of fear of pedophiles commenting on those videos because this channel was doing videos of kids that have various ailments illnesses it, like their success stories and that channel got silenced <coughs> excuse me again YouTube is in a bad way and it sucks that that YouTube is favoring Google even if Google's you know if Google's the one behind it they're favoring big YouTubers they're favoring corporations over the actual people the other people the the some people say oh you're talking about the little people no i'm talking about everyone there are people that are set for life pewdiepie being the biggest example he is in most people's in a lot of people's eyes he is slash was whatever you want to consider him the face of youtube the most subscribed YouTuber. No, apparently t this other channel has overtaken him now. I don't know. I don't care. But it's but for those who are set for life, this adpocalypse doesn't mean jack. But for those who are living that make their living, make their living off of this off of this platform, it hurts. I feel bad for those like Thrash who want to make a career out of YouTube. And now because of the shitty policies with YouTube and the restrictions now because of SJWs, because of overly people who get offended for things they shouldn't be offended for or getting offended for people who aren't offended. It's, it's comical. It's disgusting. It's pitiful. And it's... No matter how you look at it. I feel that people like Thrash Metal Guru, people like myself, because of this bu the bullshit that we deal with, because of being smaller channels and that YouTube doesn't really give a shit, it's like those smaller people are set up to fail. And this video, this is where, and this is where I tell Thrash... <laughs> Do not quit. Keep at it. Like you have a, a group of friends that will support you. You have that group of people who's got your back no matter what. And I'm trying to figure out the right way to say this. When it comes down to it, when you get down to it, we as people... We succumb to frustrations at some points and then we act out of character. Like, you know, it's like the way people be like, this isn't like you. Yes, we all do that. But a lesson my grandfather said once has always had told me that I've taken with me. It is not our experiences that make us who we are. It is what we learn from said experiences and how we move forward what we do going forward that will define us as people, that defines us as individuals. So that's all I've got to say about this. Like I said, first spent, you know, first part talking a bit about what's happened with me and my channel and then getting to the main point of thrash. Like I said, if you, and for those of you who are sub who are subs who are subbed to my channel, go go to Thrash's channel. Look at some of it, check out some of his videos. Give him like his video, subscribe to his channel. He's a great, he's a great guy, through and through. And thrash, we all get frustrated, but don't let it get to, get you down.
you can get through it. I've gotten through to where I'm at, like I said, with my channel. I'm not giving up on it. Don't you either. Especially considering you have potential. Push for it. Fight for it. Here's to you. You guys take care. Let me know what you think of the situation. And if you guys want to sub to my channel, for those of you who aren't, you can. It's up to you. Your choice. Take care.